Okay. This has been quite some time. I hope I remember how to play this still. Um, but this is, I would hope, heading towards the end. So here we are, Jots, Boogie Beach, home of the Flamingos. From what I've, re I've heard, this place is, has serious rhythm. Breathe properly, please. <laughs> Let's hope Hum Grum hasn't totally killed the vibe. So, I mean, for context, I just finished um, Echoes of Wisdom. So, I've just been playing that lately. The vibe, it's been totally killed. Massive great vehicles came rolling through. Lots of soldiers with real bad attitudes. You never really hear good things about Humgrum's gang, huh? Nothing about their good hygiene and impeccable manners. Well, don't worry, Flamingo dude. We're on our way to sort this all out. Lucky Squire and company coming through. I'm just reminding myself of the buttons. It has been a good couple of weeks since I last touched this. I will say, though, one thing I will definitely be a lot more sensitive to is just, like, the tutorial mentality. I know that that was a bit present in this game. these enemies. We buried him. Good. Ha 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 ha. Nice and cozy like. We're totally justified in doing this. How'd you like these beautiful pink sands of yours now, eh, little starfish? Yo, bozos. This is exactly the type of thing that has earned you a terrible rep. Troublesome persons, get them! Oh, come on, man. Those beastly bullies. They buried my poor sweet husband in the sand. Don't worry, Mr. Starfish. We'll soon have your dude out. Or not. That is really sturdy sand. It's boogie sand. Very viscous. Easy to bury things. Hard to dig them out. You boys are going to have a, half t a hard time. No mistaken. There's only one fellow who could dig out my man out of there. Tumba. Tumba? Tumba. A round, a little round flamingo he is. Good at digging. Find Tumba so we can dig up my sweetheart. You got it, Mr. Starfish. Uh, any advice on where we'd find this Tumba dude? Well, now. Around this time, you'll usually find him napping under a tree. Sleepy bird, that one. Jot, I've been scoping this place out since we got here. Didn't see any round, sleepy dudes under any trees. Maybe you could spot who we're after from a different vantage point? Yeah. 
Uh, <laughs> Who be? What's that? There's a starfish buried, huh? This is a job. This be a job for Tumba. You lead the way. Jot and Tumba beheld the funky land of Boogie Beach. The vibe, it's been totally killed. Wait, I feel like I'm repeating myself. Or I'd be repeating myself. Bad stuff happened in Haas Soka. You best believe it, Tumba. On my way, stay safe now. No. Of course, I have to repeat this. The animations for this are so good. Wait, what are you- whoa! What are they? Jellyfish? <laughs> I love that death animation, they grab their hearts. Tumba. Ooh, that starfish being buried bad. Let's see what Tumba can do. Stanley. Thank Boogie you're alright. The sand. So deep. So endless. Millions of tiny primordial stones. Stanley? Banging job, Tumba dude. Ugh, oh, it'd be nothing. You're both here to stop all the bad business. Help you, Tumba will. Tumba's not big, but knows these beaches. And has shovel, can dig up useful things. Tumba, dude, that'd be rad. We could use your help. You got it, let's roll. Can we tell him to dig? We meet again. I just got the scroll. I don't have enough to get the upgrades. This oil is terrible for our feathers. Messy luck, these grumpies. Oh, looks like Humgrump has this place locked down. Jot, let's lower that gate. Somehow. Not sure on the details. Tamba has motto. When in doubt, dig. Something buried over there. Tamba, help you uncover it. One of those boomy portals. Way to go, Tamba, dude. Dot can use these to get ahead. Oh, that's trippy. Hmm? Hmm? 
the rotation. <laughs> it got me. back here. How's it going? It's going good. Just making progress on some of these games that I haven't finished yet. How about you? Banging job. Jot. Interesting. Oh, there you go. This game looks cool. It's a cool idea. Um... The one thing about it, I'll say, at least at the start, is there's a lot of, uh... There's a lot of tutorial things. Our troubles just floated away on the breeze. Let's get going, dude. But otherwise, like, the idea of being able to jump in and out of the book is pretty cool. And the whole book manipulation thing. How do you do the thing? Or can I not do it right now? You can only turn page. Interesting. It doesn't let you do the tilt thing here. Reminds you of that one Super Mario World hack where you could play as 3D Mario on an overworld map. I don't think I played that one. Apparently it's totally seized up, it won't open. Some associate didn't fill out the gear grease access forms. Very poor paperwork. A clear case of, of kick, a clear case for a naughty associate behavioral report form. As clear a case as I have ever seen, Soldier Dob. Wait. Is that? Are they? Troublesome persons. Yes, we are. Yeah, I mean, the interesting thing about this one is that it has... I mean, its primary driver is like, you know, Zelda as inspiration, but then it has other games as well. There was a segment that was kind of like Punch-Out from the NES. Well, that'd be a big gate. Ah. There was another part that was a rhythm game. Oh, hello, gang. I found you. Violet, what the? Where did you... Huh? 
Moonbeard didn't tell you? Oh, uh, well, I suppose he wouldn't. He's very busy. I finished up mixing up my potions, so... Old MB sent me here to help you two gents. Wait, who's this little pink birdie? He's so darn cute. Tumba is the name. Tumba digs holes. Tumba has been helping us navigate the beaches. Helpful, dude. Hey, it's been a while. Triple trouble reunited. You three's dancing good. Tumba can't dance. But Tumba can dig. And Tumba can find things others can't. Tumba show you. Tumba thinking this path will take you where you headed. <laughs> it's just unfortunate. But this came out at just the time where, like, just a whole bunch of other games I wanted to check out came out. So I started it and then kind of had to stop. Army hearties, you're in Buccaneer Bay now. If you wants to be leaving, you best open the gate ahead. And if you want to be opening the gate, you best be finding two shiny jewels. But if you want to stay, you could come live with me on me rock. Okay, well, let's just start with that. Aspect is very Baba is you. Um, oh, I can get out here. Okay, cool. See if there's any more words on the page anywhere. Hmm. Okay. Unless there's another portal entrance somewhere. Ah, here. Hmm. Is there anything I can bring back with me? It doesn't look like there's anything nearby. Yeah, I'm not sure. I can't bring Tumba with me. No word that I feel like. It's like I was trying to find the word sand or something.
that, that doesn't seem to be here. It's called My Q DLC. Oh, I'm probably not going to remember that. I'm terrible with names. <laughs> Especially that one, that's like a series of letters. Four letters. I'll be like, damn, it was that level, it was like my something. It was four letters, I don't remember the letters. I saw something there. Just caught it at the last second. There's... There's a dig spot here. Yeah. Oh, it's just that. Some of these answers are very simple. Oh. No, but that's not it. That's on the timer. The problem is I can't even jump this gap. There has to be a word I can take somewhere. Something stretched from the east and west. I was thinking... I could find the word sand. It doesn't let you go back multiple chapters either. And I was hoping maybe there was like a dice or something I could pick up here and bring it in. I either need a block or I need a word. be useful here. Be able to summon things to, I don't know, jump on, like a bed. The funny thing is, like, my brain is still thinking that. <laughs> Just, hey, summon a block so you can climb here, and then, oh wait, it's the wrong game. Oops. Doesn't look like there's anything I can carry with me. about the word, but I guess it, land would be a good one. Yeah, but it's not, it's not a word I can extract. There doesn't seem to be an entry point here. What about here? I'm not going to like the answer to this. <laughs> it's going to be a simple answer. And I'm going to hate it.
I can't go back any further. I tried looking for another entry portal, but couldn't see it. Ah, oh, you pa! <laughs> okay. There we go. The longer something takes, the more likely the answer is something minor and stupid. Okay, there we go. <laughs> That's cool. I mean, the puzzles here are pretty nice. Can't do this yet. Gotta take these dudes out. Ah, uh, I'm stuck. I can't move. Uh, I glitched. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't move at all. It wouldn't let me move. I made the physics. Just not let me move in any direction. So typical of me. Alright, you went and solved the puzzle of the bay, didn't you? You'll be on your way now, no doubt. Won't be living with me on a rock. Roger understands. Life on a rock ain't for everyone. Good luck, me hearties. Ugh, little Tumba. Are we going the right way? Tumba knows these beaches like the back of his wing. Thumba won't be letting you down.
a grumpy bunker ahead. And some kind of metallic oily smell in the air. Boomerang, it's too strong. Oh. You can actually go in here. I was like, I'm being shot at. Where? That's a tank. Dangerous looking machines. Well, those things look mean. Yeah, like they'll blast the heads off if we try mooching past. Hello, my chickadees. Looks like you're getting close to the heart of grumpiness. Thrash is right. Those tanks will blast you into biscuits if you try to run past. But not if you blast them first. But with what? Guitar solo? No. With something Jock can retrieve from the world outside. Hop to it, Jock. Moonbeat out. Moonbit sounds busy. He still has a lot to do when I left. I hope he's remembering to hydrate. Anyway, Jot, sounds like you need an item from out there. Go do your jumpy thing. Oh. This just became different. Another stamp. I think I can afford one of the upgrades now. Welcome to the desert plains, man. We have lots of cacti and sand. And this orb of amber. It belongs somewhere else. Feel free to take it. Actually, it's actually a path I can go on.
What? Whoa. Oh, okay. Okay. I see. I see. Oh, this is so trippy. Part of this makes me think of Toy Story. It's a bunch of mice guarding a concept art thing. Fine, down stab. I'm good. <laughs> Don't touch that. Who's that tickling my tail? You seem like a friendly chap. Say, maybe you could help me out. There are pesky creatures running around on my back and I can't seem to swat them off. Oh. Could you perhaps get rid of these annoying little things? See, that bedroom definitely felt like Toy Story. Thank you, little fellow. I can think again. My mind is clear.
There's got to be a way in. My goodness, you're an unusual looking dinosaur. You have the look of someone who's on a mission. You're planning to scale the volcano, aren't you? Well, it's pretty dangerous. Take that primal axe over there. I'll give you the power to make it to the top. Or it'll give you the power to make it to the top. <laughs> okay. Oh, damn. Genres change. them no mind. <laughs> oh great. Oh, no mind. Wait, what? Well, hello. You managed quite an impressive feat of adventuring getting all the way up here. My name's Time Tim. A pleasure to meet you. I'm an adventurer too, you know, a time traveler, as a matter of fact. I like to visit all possible futures and histories to see what I can find. Here I found lots of pointy teeth and claws, all quite thrilling. Now, don't let me hold you up. You'd better leave the primal axia. If it's removed, it could alter the course of history. Don't get me started on butterfly effects. Excellent. The timelines are already quite messy as they are, you know. In return, something that you may find useful. The bomb stamp? When on top of the book, press LT to stamp a bomb onto the page. You can obliterate enemies and obstacles. An explosive development. You acquired the bomb stamp. Get back to your book and cause some shockwaves. The path back is through here, plucky squire. That was a cool little segment. Righto, Jot. Time to show those hum grumpy hum grumpaninis. Pan hum grump and paninis? Paninis? Jeez. What your new bomb sound can do. I can't read that word. Get yourself on top of that book. Hum grumpaninis. Um, first of all. Oh, it's forcing me to do this. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> what is this game? Uh, it's called the Plucky Squire. It's like a game that's similar to Zelda, but you can jump in and out of a storybook. Jot, those tanks, they suddenly blew up themselves. Must have been from boredom. They've been sitting there in the same spot for ages. Wait, dude, is this some kind of new plucky power of yours? Oh, Jot can blow stuff up now. Thumber, dig. Jot, blast. Good combo. Mind-blowing. Lead the way, Master Blaster. You missed it. It's a game... Zelda-like game, but you can jump in and out of a storybook. It's a Zelda game, except you can jump in and out of a storybook. It's a Zelda game, but you can jump in and out of a storybook. It is a Zelda game, but you can jump in and out of a storybook. It is a Zelda game, but you can jump in and out of a storybook. What kind of game is it? It's a game where you are an orc and you run a massage parlor. What was that page that I was looking for? This page. There we go. Yeah, ha ha. That's an, it's a neat game. It's got a wholesome story. Graphics are nice. And aside from the Zelda mechanic, it's kind of got like a Barbara's you sort of thing happening where. You'll find sentences, and then you can manipulate the world by swapping words out. And then some other sections of the game mimic up different games. So I've seen, like, Punch-Out, Rhythm Games, as an example. Did I finish that other Zelda game? Yeah, just before. So I'm finishing this up as well, because this kind of got shafted because of all the other games that released. I was playing this like two weeks ago. Maybe three at this point. So then I can try do a Halloween related or at least appropriate game. Overall summary by hand holding. Um, I think it is good Zelda game, but not in the line of what I think is best Zelda game. If that's like uh, generic enough of an answer. I think, yeah, it's, there's a lot of good things about it. There's some things that I didn't quite enjoy, but overall it is good Zelda.
So I think it was a good entry as playable Zelda. I think it was good. I think the thing that I am the most hopeful of um, is that, you know, it could set a future where there's a multiplayer Zelda game where one player plays as Link and as a swordsman and another player plays as Zelda and as a mage. And that would be pretty cool. Isn't there an entry point here? I think if they clean up how some of the summons work, you know, it'll, it'll be good. Because a lot of them, they just have a four second wind up before they do an attack. And sometimes it's really hard to get them to do what you want. So often they'll either die before they get an attack off or get stunned before they get an attack off and then have to redo their attack animation. Not all of them, but I felt like a lot of them were like that, unless you could summon multiple. There's long... You know, they'll be curious if they do another one of these games and they just kind of clean some of that stuff up. It'll be very good. Got a free piece of oh, okay. Alright. Do you know of any alternatives to Canva that is free or cheaper? What do you mean cheaper than free? Like they pay you to use it? <laughs> I'm kidding. Um It depends what you want to do. Some are thinking there'd be another way around. Jungle foot of full of hidden passages among the trees. You clear the leaves, you find the way. Sounds promising, Jot. You, maybe you could use that old plucky pizzazz. Take a look from above. Blast away some of the leaves. It depends what you want to do. Because every software has its, like, strengths. And though there are free alternatives out there, it just depends on what you want to do. Is it really this easy? Guess not. Oh, there's the stairwell over here. Huh? You can't actually. Hmm, okay. Any job? Well, good luck. Good luck. There's either another portal or there's something blocking the way. What happened to the tilt functionality? There was like... I used to be able to tilt the book. It doesn't let me do it anymore. Hmm. 
Hmm. What have I what have I missed? I missed some important piece of dialogue. Because I was too busy being a smart ass. Oh, there you go. Clever. Is this on Switch? Uh, pretty sure it is. I think when it was first announced, it was during Nintendo's Direct, but I'm playing it on PC. Thanks to me getting an ROG LA. It, these days, I just tend to get everything on PC. <laughs> if I want to play a handheld, I can. But I mean, the Switch is, it's, it's old, man. It's, you can really feel it. I guess that was the other thing in the Zelda game is there were times where it ran silky smooth at 60 frames and then there were times where it like went down to 30 and lower and it was really noticeable. Letting me move. I have to find my way outside somehow. Oh, you know what? I could have just gone back. Okay, so what does it want me to do? Solving is interesting. This is cool. Wait, which one is this one? Oh, it's the same thing. Okay, got it. And then I need to get out. Maybe I didn't. I was gonna detonate that one, but that's okay. Oh, 
I overcomplicated it. I had the answer already. Even still. Do you think they're going to, um, let us in? The problem, Peeve, is that we don't have Operation Hammer Time clearance. Well, yes, to be honest, I'm a bit disappointed about that. I've been filing all my paperwork very thoroughly and ironing my shirt every day, but still no clearance. Now you mention that your shirt has been looking very crisp. Hey, thank you, I'm glad someone noticed. Oh! I thought he was going to talk to me. <laughs> Usually they say something in my direction before attacking me. I was waiting for it. I thought... Hello, gang. Those gates. Can't open them here, but... Oh, there we go. It looks like you'll be the one forging ahead, dude. We'll cool our heels here while we find that switch. Talk to me with his spear, I guess so. So this game... Uh, like, it's fun, but if you want to talk about, like, reiterate, reiterating stuff, dude, that Moonbeard guy, like, he just pops up way too much. We meet again. Care to take a look at my current selection? Like, you want to talk about hand-holding, man. Large metal, okay. The row of heavy gates block the way. That's the word I can take out here. You hold your dog's hand, why? Reassurance. Your dog has a hand. That's an even better point. Maybe, you know, not a literal dog, but just really good friend. My dog. Yeah, dog. Hey, I got the heart! Jock dusted himself off and arose to fight once more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dog. These dudes are doing a lot of damage. I'm not going anywhere near that. This game is pretty cool, charming. Oh no, it's great. Like, hand holding aside, 
the game is very charming, and um, there's definitely a lot of throwbacks to older games in it. The moment I saw the trailer of it, like, I, I wanted to try it. It's kind of like um, like a Link Between Worlds concept where you could jump in and out of the wall. Except this takes it to a whole other level. A large metal goblin! Oh, it worked. This makes me want to play Baba is You, but the problem with that game is, like... It's a fun game, but some of the later levels really, really mess with your mind. Like, they can give you a headache. <laughs> they require significant levels of thinking to get it right. Mechanical bridge. Okay, I'll go see what other words I have. And bring him here. It's sort of refreshing to see something more vibrant and colorful. Maybe I've been playing too many dark games. I I mix it up. I play everything. No, I, I play things that are dark. I play things that some would consider baby games. I try to experience as many different things as I can. Like, probably after this, I'll be doing some sort of spook game. I haven't decided what yet, but I'll figure it out. A large metal water? Will it let me make, like, a bad sentence? rejected. Not allowed. I'll still bring all the other words here, just in case. Then I have everything I can work with here. And that's it, very wholesome. It's something I would definitely recommend if you have kids. It's something you can sit together with them and play it. Yeah, it's a children's storybook. Solitary ice. Not allowed. That didn't change it. What am I missing? A mechanical bridge. Hmm. Let me get the battery again. I love that it has a face. I mean, does it simply just put the battery in? Hey. What the? <laughs> I'd go that far. It doesn't let me put it in there.
Yeah, it doesn't go in there. I'm not gonna like the answer to this, am I? It would make sense if I could move this battery. Hang on. What if I do something dangerous? Doesn't work. There's probably like another portal here. When in doubt, blow shit up. Oh, hello. It rattles it. Hmm. I'm kind of out of ideas. Unless there's new words. Because sometimes they do do that. We have to go back. Machine. Leafy canopy. I didn't see any other useful words. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'm finishing this tonight. <laughs> At the rate that I'm going. I wonder what happened to the mechanic that I had before where I could tilt the page. Or the book. Refuse to go to the, the guy for a hint. <laughs> Gonna pick it out. Oh, see, that's a switch, so then. But what did that achieve? There's gotta be a way to get another battery. One of that size. This is what I get for calling the game handholdy. No, but see, I'd rather this. This is fine. This is what I want. I'm not complaining. The puzzles are fine. It the puzzles is fine. It's just the part where it's like, hey. You know, the, the characters that I'm with will be like, hey, we need to open up this gate. And then Moon Moonbeard will pop up like two seconds later and be like, okay, you need to open up this gate. It's like, thank you, Moonbeard, for reiterating what was just established. I don't mind if this takes me a while, it's fine. Yeah, you gotta open up this gate. Yeah, 
do you know what the do you know what the the funniest part of it is? At the start of the game, Moonbeard gives you an option as to whether or not you want him to intervene much. And I picked no. So this is with me picking no, that I'm fine. Lay off the hints. There's something I want to try, and it's just because it'll be funny, not because I think it's the answer. Will it let me do a box of battery? No, because it doesn't make sense as a sentence. But you can do funny things. I made several things made out of cheese in the previous chapter. What if it's something out here? Sometimes you do have to drag out things from the real world inside. Is there like a battery out here somewhere? I have two frames of reference when it comes to, you know, over-explanation. One is my own personal experiences, you know, I was a kid once upon a time. And I grew up with NES, Super Nintendo, Game Boy games that really didn't explain a whole lot, and I figured it out. But you know, that was a long time ago, so I, it could be a case of my memory's not right. However, my modern day frame of reference is my niece, like, she figures stuff out pretty well. So I see someone that is of, of a younger age figuring things out without <laughs> needing explanations. So, you know, I don't know. Some of it's fine, uh, it's more so when it really drills it in, like it reiterates it two or three times, like what you need to do. And it's not even the puzzle, it's more like, hey, you need to go to this area. Make sure you go to this area. Yeah, it's arguably better for them in the long run to figure it out. Exactly, it's critical thinking. It helps develop that. But in this case, I'm a little stumped. Like, there's something obvious that I'm missing. There's a bridge. Clearly, I need a battery here. And then I press the button, and the bridge will come across. That is the end result. But there's a step missing. And that is how you get the big battery. I got this one, but I can't seem to be able to move it. I tried blowing it up, didn't work. This is just a time stop. It just stops time. On whatever's underneath it. What, what am I missing?
I did look around for another entry point as well, but there didn't seem to be one. That doesn't mean there isn't one. Sometimes they're just very well hidden. Try something that I haven't tried yet. I can bring the battery out. Okay, how's that gonna help? Is there another page where I can use a battery? Yeah, I got stuck on the puzzle. Intended for children. I, I don't see how this helps. Can't even, oh, yes, I can. I may have to take the Moonbeard hint. I feel ashamed. Was the goblin? I just thought that was a joke. Because <laughs> you can make funny things happen by changing the words, but it's. I legit have to do this? Oh, okay. Wow. I, yeah, I would not have thought of this. I, we would have been here for a while. That was not the answer I was expecting. Holy crap. Then it becomes a battery again. Wow. So the battery, the word battery as a solitary thing was a bait. And then, oh, uh, maybe not. Like it still lets me do this. Work, Jot. Knew you'd nail it. Jot got it done. You've got one of those thinking brains, dude. That's the key to your success. So I guess the way is open. 
We can get to see what this Operation Hammer Time is all about. Let's get to it. Not exactly sure why, but this reminds you of Scribblenauts. I can see it. Having to use words to solve problems. Number. Ahead is where Humgrump be hunkering. Tumba happy to have got you here. But Tumba has to be going home now. Got some mice to be feeding. Tumba dude, thank you so much for getting us here. Yeah, if it wasn't for you, we'd still be loitering behind that massive iron gate. You did amazing, Tumba. Tumba feel happy. Made some new friends today. Tumba can't dance, but Tumba dancing anyway. Tumba can't dance. <laughs> Does a break dancing routine. Okay. Time to feed the baby mice. So long and good luck, friends. There goes a righteous little duckling. Bug speed, Tumba. Okay, come on. T it's time to crash Humgrum's party. Tumba's full of shit. Well, maybe in the context of Tumba's, um, you know, species. They can all dance better than that. Beware, travelers. Real crazy things going over that ridge. Our heroes climbed to a grassy vantage point and looked below to see... an enormous clanking Machine. From the machine rolled scores of dangerous looking vehicles. Which before our hero's eyes sped away towards Artia. So that's what Robbie Grump has been up to. Man. Sorry. Making tanks. Dangerous, dangerous things. And that's why he chose Boogie Beach. There's a direct line from the beach to the castle, you know. Well, gang, this is a dire situation. Make no mistake, but you did good. You've given us warning. I'm briefing the Queen and putting the armies of Artia on highest alert. Now you three, it's time to get back to Artia. No time to waste. If we're going to defeat Humgrum's forces, we've got to do it together. Moonbeard out. This is heavy. Those tanks are rolling straight to my hometown. So the aim of Operation Hammer Time is to hammer Artia Castle. We have to halt that hammer. Come on, let's go. And so, our heroes sprinted off to Artia. Chapter 8. Clash at the castle. Okay. So, I mean, there's probably one more session at this. There's ten chapters. The gang arrived at Artia to see the aftermath of a great battle. The army of Artia had been thoroughly defeated by Humgrub's forces. Whoa! Humgrum's minions have really done a number on this place. My town. This is a disaster. The Artian Guard stands no more. Humgrum's forces, the metal beasts, all too much. I wasn't strong enough. Lucky Squire, go defend the castle. Protect the queen. <laughs> Not before I... Get some currency. Yeah. What? Death fish? Oh, 
I mean, some of the art for concepts that I guess didn't make it. Hum grumpies everywhere. Look at your fancy town. Ha 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 ha. It's our town now. We'll make it nice and comfy. You are horrid brutes. We'll show you horrid, you entitled little brats. You'd better get lost. Wah! Who do these grubby goons think they are? Ransacking my beautiful town. These sort can't make anything beautiful themselves. So all they do is wreck and ruin. Well, it won't stand. Someone has to stop these bullies. It's time for me to join the fight. Alright, Violet. Mer Jam gang, let's do this. Oh, hey, Lumen. Thank you for the raid. How's it going? I would imagine there's a spot to get out to take out these tanks. Ow. Going good. How's the squire that likes to pluck? It is fun. I kind of forgot about the game, <laughs> to be honest. I was playing it and then a bunch of other stuff released and I kind of put it on the back burner for a while. But it is a good game if you haven't played it. There's no exit portal. How am I going to get rid of these tanks? There it is. <laughs> noise that one made. It was like a Zoidberg noise. There we go. Oh wait, there was one more. It's on your list to play? Cool. Well, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Going to raid and run. Nah, all good. Well, thank you for the raid, and yeah, enjoy the rest of your evening. Job done! Hum Grumpy's eliminated! Huh? Is there some grump we haven't dealt with yet? Have those hard brutes all gone? Whoa! Who's this weirdo? I am not a weirdo. I am Humgrump's loyal mage. He sent me to disintegrate you. And that is what I shall do now. A mage, huh? A magic wielder. That's what he is. Guys, we won't be able to defeat this chap with a bonk on the head. No, a magic wielder can only be defeated by magic. Suppose it's time for me to step up to bat. Violet readied her wand. I'm curious what this is going to be. It was time to get magical. Oh, oh my god, okay. We're, we're doing Buster Move. I have not played this game in a long time. Oh, but I can't ro Okay, that worked. I was like, I can't rotate it. This is so, that's so cool. There's got there's no button to change the angle you shoot it at, which is a little off-putting because I'm trying to aim it. I'm 
Not out of it yet. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Please, do you know how many hours I sunk into this game? Oh, I messed up. Okay. Recover, recover, recover. Oops. Right, that was like... Right up the middle. Perfect. <laughs> Violet was victorious. Oh. And her former schoolmates quite flabbergasted. Violet, that was amazing. You're a natural at this magic thing. Major respect. Oh, haha, <laughs> well, you know. I've picked up a few spells and charms here and there. Not much, maybe, but they can be useful in a pinch. Not much? You serve that mage a potion pile driver. Dev Violet? You saved us from that creepy wizard. The magic, it was. It was breathtaking. It was nothing. But listen, it's not safe for you to be around here. We've cleared out the town. You should be able to get out of here, okay? Get to safety. Y yes, Violet. Thank you, Violet. Come on, let's get to the castle. Such a magic battle I've never seen. Moonbeard's sorcery is even stronger than I had heard. And soon, the main event, Jot vs. Humgrump, a clash for the history books. Oh, bother. Busted again. They heard everything. I really have to stop talking to myself. That dude again. Last time we saw him, you got booted out of the book, Jot. So, uh, let's be on our toes. Oh, this one was in an easy spot. Impressive, Moonbeard. Impressive. Obviously, I am no match for your magical majesty. Of course. Of course. You have always been the better wizard. Me? I'm just a sniveling, little, talentless grump. Always in your shadow. I should have known my place. I should have never dared stand against my beloved younger brother. The magnificent Moonbeard. What a fool I am. What a dumb grump. Give it a rest, hum grump. Always feeling sorry for yourself. You should get out more. Do some sport. A bit of vigorous exercise. Didn't you used to like... Ping pong? I remember you playing it with ma- Well remembered! It was my thing for a while. But one day you beat me at that too. So I said so long to ping pong. I do remember one of the strategies, though. Misdirection. Make it look like you're on the back foot. Then come back with a strong, winning backhand. No! Oh, oh! This game goes to Humgrum. Dude, I, I wasn't expecting him to <laughs> just... Disintegrate him. <laughs> uh, 
And now Humgrump sat upon the arty throne to claim his rightful role as the grand ruler of all of Mojo. Uh... What? Okay, this is pretty meta. <laughs> the Throner. This is pretty cool. Once upon a time, there was a magnificent wizard named Humgrump. <laughs> okay. Lord Humgrump ruled the land of Mojo, overlooking all from his splendid palace. He was the ruler of Mojo because he was the greatest person who had ever lived in the land. Uh -huh. He knew what was best for its people. The loyal ones would be treated with great grace and fairness and taxed at the very reasonable rate of 96%. The disloyal ones well, they would be put in their place. And that was a place which was many miles underground. And was known as... Deep Doom. One such disloyal subject was the wretched Squire Jot, who found himself now imprisoned in a cell in the depths of Deep Doom, which was exactly where he belonged. I don't have a sword. The broken wall only led to another cell chamber, huh? The Iron Gate was very much <laughs> Well that was the previous chapter already, so this is like chapter nine now. Maybe I can finish this today. The vent looked very foreboding and not at all like a convenient passageway anywhere. Uh-huh. The traitor jot peered into the terrifying darkness of the vent, <gasps> inside which awaited a frightening and ultimately lonely death. What? I can't be for real. Oh. Uh oh. The energy beam looked warm and enticing. He's cutting it close there. <laughs> Thank you, little mouse. Jot, you're alive. Why am I happy to see you? You know how many dingy corridors I scampered through trying to find you? It was a lot. Anyway, it's just brilliant to see you. You know, we're not in the best shape, to be honest. Moonbeard is no longer with us. Thumb Grump now rules Mojo from his horrible palace, which he was rudely jammed right on top of. Artia Castle. It's said that Queen Chroma is imprisoned in his palace. I see you don't have your sword. You know, I overheard a couple of troops on the way here. 
They said they'd taken all your gear to a spot somewhere outside the book. So I suppose I won't be finding it in this deep doom. But two things we may find are Violet and Thrash, because I'm pretty sure they're in prison close by. Come on, let's find them and get the band back together. Yeah, ha ha. Now there were two wretched fugitives. Not a great development. Oh, uh, okay. I know what's ahead. One of Humgrum's data centers. You would not believe how much these cats love their paperwork. They're always reporting each other and trying to get each other into trouble. Not a fun bunch. Listen, these data centers are crawling with troops. I can sneak past them, though. I'm a mouse. Slinking around is my jam. Once I'm through, I think I can open a vent and let you through a side passage. Leave it to trusty Sneaky Pip. Data center? Like... Ahead of the fugitive. Okay, they're filing cabinets. Stocked full of wonderful, life-affirming paperwork. Now patrolled by highly competent guards. The traitorous rodent prepares... Oh crap, this is about to become a stealth game, isn't it? A plan quite obviously doomed. To I'm gonna have to Metal Gear my way through this, aren't I? Ah! <laughs> How many times am I going to play a stealth game? <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. Oh no, the music is great. Okay, this isn't too bad. little mouse had made it past the troops and opened a vent to let his equally horrid associate through this turn of events was not very pleasing phew well that was exciting i haven't sneaked so intensely since moonbid noticed his hard cheddar was missing we made it through come on let's press on Oh dear, a complete and utter dead end. There was absolutely nothing to see over this way. Uh huh. Hey, that's Violet's wand. That means she has to be nearby. Grab it, Jot. We can give it to her when we see her. spot. Some cold pizza over there. I can't imagine these guys make good pizza choices. Yeah. Can't pick up pizza.
Violet, hey there. Huh? Another funny dream. Pip and Jot standing there in my cell. Violet, it's not a dream, it's really us. We've come to break you out. You're in deep doom, humgrum space. That big lunk has taken over the land. We have to get to his palace and kick him out. It's... it's really you? You bet it is. Jot and Pip. Live and kicking. And Thrash. I'm pretty sure he's around here too. Moonbeard? I'm sorry, Violet. Moonbeard's gone. It's my fault. <sighs> All this is my fault. Moonbeard thought I could make magic to protect everyone. He was so confident, he almost convinced me. But deep down, I knew I couldn't do it. I thought I could change my story. I thought things could be rewritten. But in the end, they couldn't. It all came back to the same old tale. I let Moonbeard down. I let everyone down. Violet, come on, that's not true. We were all in it together. We all tried our best. There's only one person at the root of all of this misery. And that's Humgrump. Is it true? That Humgrump is Moonbeard's brother? It is. So throw brotherly betrayal onto the pile of no good stuff. Listen, things are bad, no doubt. But this story, it's not over yet. We can still change the end, make things right. We can't change what happened. What's important is what we do now. You're right. It's... it's really good to see you both. It's good to see you too, Violet. Hey, we have something of yours. Thank you, Jot. Thank you, Pip. I'll do what I can. We can't let Humgrump get away with what he did to Moonbeard. What he did to Mojo. We have to free the people of the land. One thousand percent. Come on. Let's go get that mountain troll fellow. There were three of them. Could they not just sit still? Data center ahead. I'll sneak through. Open side access for you both on the other side. Watch me scurry. Oh boy. Another data center lay ahead of the treacherous trio. Alright. Sneak his way through again. Is that music again? Smug arrogance that would no doubt be his undoing. Oh, oh, this just got complicated. a little <laughs> oh my god Cool though. Why did I do this for? Ah, shit. 
He turned around. Damn it. Almost had it. This one's harder. Once again, the furry little nuisance had somehow made it through. And once again, granted access to his chatted colleagues. This outcome was not great. And rather brought into question the competency of the guards <laughs> and the effectiveness of their training curriculum. Oh, this again. Well, we made it past the data center, but this thing here doesn't look very sneak pastable. If one ran fast enough, one could definitely slip through the gaps of the whizzing belt. Um, nope. I'll be keeping my distance from those lethal whizzing blades, thanks. Jot, doesn't look like we can stop this machine from here. This calls for some plucky power from outside our world. Perhaps there's one of those spinning portals around here. Helpful things appear to those in need, you know? Very helpful. There we go. Hey, Humgrum's troops said they'd stash your items out there somewhere. Maybe you can get them back? Good luck, Jot. We'll be right here waiting for you. I mean, there's not really anywhere else to go. So, Violet? Trivia quiz? Not a bad idea. But go easy on the questions about cheese this time, okay? That's become like a dark world out here. Shot. How exceedingly euphoric I am to see you. You seem to have evaded the clutches of the dastardly Humgrump. But your storybook, Humgrump still very much has dominion over that, I'm afraid. How weary, stale, and uninspiring the story has become. The life energy, it is draining from its pages. Sam discarded your book, placing it here, on this dusty shelf. The book no longer inspires him, Jot. And without that spark of inspiration to guide him, Sam may wander onto the wrong path and never fulfill his potential. I can already sense him changing. You must reignite that spark of inspiration, Jot. You must defeat Humgrump and restore the book's story to one of light. And also get that book back onto the desk. Not sure how you're going to do that. But first things first, let's get your items and weapons back. They're all down on the desk in a fortress occupied by Humgrump's troops. Get down there and retrieve them. Again, this is like... How much of a mess this kid's bedroom is. <laughs> Just a constant state of clutter. <laughs> Dear Sam, your uncle and I thought that this dinosaur card was a hoot. Happy birthday. We love you lots. Auntie Mavis and Uncle Manuel. Oh, 
There's like shredded drawings everywhere. Go away. I am unarmed. I am a pacifist just collecting light bulbs. Can't jump over the beam. Beam is instant death. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that's fine. Impatient. Could have had that. Hey, no, 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 and throw have to be the same item. I mean, button. Because I was holding... I held the button too long. There we go. It'd be impossible for anyone to sneak into this fortress and reclaim their rightfully confiscated possessions. A very insightful, if oddly specific, point, associate, something, soldier. Good. That's that's how you sneak. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Apparently, I went the wrong way. Good. More, more stealth content. I love stealth content. Why? 
I'm not supposed to go there. It looked like there was a passageway there. Okay, well, it's this way. I lost my bearings where I was. We can't go on together. With suspicious minds. With suspicious minds. as it should still be sneaking, huh? <gasps> the bomb stamp. Okay, cool. The bomb stamp. A dynamite performance. You retrieved your first item, but there are many more. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I can't go here. That requires a sword. Oh, good. What's this? <laughs> More stealth. Yes. Uh oh. Get in. Fine. I'm the control. I'm the control. I guess I was supposed to do that. Okay, 
now we're sort of back to normal. <laughs> that dude does like the Wario charge, it's pretty funny. Also has a kick me sign on the back. Range attack is just so useful. <laughs> oh, hello. I was expecting there to be like a secret artwork thing there. Does the book manipulate her? Stop stand, be still my excellent heart. And now you have retrieved all your items. You are fully equipped to deal with Humgrump's forces. Get back to the book forthwith, Dot. Over there is a route via which you may return. Good luck. Oh. 
kill myself for it. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Unfortunate. I didn't know that was down there. Wait, what's that in the distance? I don't like how that beetle is like flashbanging <laughs> my face. <laughs> it's so bright. Hey! Oh crap. I just made it worse for myself. Useful, is it? This is just the bottom again. Can't be it. That's just going back through this whole thing again. Isn't there a passageway that I came through down here? The birthday card that was near it. Oh, here. There it is. This is what I was looking for. Chart, you have returned, but look now. Gaze upon your storybook. Its life energy has fully dissipated. 
It is a froze tome. This is what happens to forgotten books. We have but one chance. We must return the book to the desk. It may regain some energy there, but how might we transport the book down there? Perhaps one of your items may be of aid. That's cool. We go back down there now. Extraordinary, a truly brilliant spark of inspiration. Now that the book is on the desk, its pages might fall. The workings of book magic are quite a mystery, you know. Get down to the desk and see for yourself. I wish you the best of luck. So this is what I mean. It's just like... I was going down there. <laughs> but the game is like... Now go down there, in case you didn't know. You did it. You got your items back. Not a hair out of place. Nothing major happened while you were gone. It got a little chilly, but then it warmed up again. Also, I was utterly about to trounce Pip in our trivia quiz. Too many questions about shades of paint. Anyway, come on, let's scoot. It's so nice to have color again. <laughs> it was very muted before. Wait, is that? It is. Mini beard. How do? Long time no see. Oh wow. Is it great to see you? You too. Good people, bad location. What are you doing down here? Came to help out. There's some head scratching areas ahead. Mini beard speciality. Perfect. Thank you, Minibird. Our little band just got a big boost. You got it. You scoot ahead, I'll catch up. We've been staring at this gate for ages. It's not going to open. Not without a key, it won't. We had one around here, I swear. Where's it gone? It's been packed up in one of those big yellow crates in the other room. You could go try and get it. Oh no, I'm not heading in there. That broken pipe leaked slime everywhere. It is slippy and it's gross. And if someone sees us there, they're going to pin the whole mess on us. You can bet your last rationing token. The troublesome persons, they're standing right there. That one's got a sword. Hey, wait a minute. Look over there. It's one of those red gate thingies. They open when lots of associates get slain. I'm not entirely sure that's a good sign. Anyway, attack! This is this is what I was waiting for last time. They do like a little quip. They acknowledge you before attacking. These ones didn't. Slime had leaked onto this broken pipe. Okay, well. Ow. Interesting. I 
Okay, the gate is over there. Ah! The Heartless Trader had eradicated three poor creatures. Okay. I can't hop down from here. Okay. Got an extra crate. Oh, diamond. Diamond's probably the word. What happens if I make the statue metal instead of diamond now? Downgrade. I mess it up. Oh no, there it is. Stop. Oh, wait, no, I have. Because then how am I gonna... Hmm. Metal Lodge. Interesting. What's the difference between having them... Let's see. See, I need a way back. I get the feeling I need to look for the word one. Oh, 
Okay, I get how this works. I need to go look for the word one. There it is. Oh, I could use bombs, actually. Bombs would probably move the crate, now that I think about it. Yeah, okay, it's that. Okay, I thought that was just going to break it. Oh, but hang on. There we go. I mean, that's pretty clever. Wasn't what I was looking for, but... Still, still broken. I bet one of the crates has it. I guess I did mention it. Three large broken crates.
Oh, you can blow up the pipe as well. Another gate falls to the Mojam crew. Nice work, Jot. Look, there's Thrash drumsticks. All right, he's got to be nearby. Jot, grab the sticks. Let's go find their owner. Dudes, you're okay. You're okay. We're all okay. I mean, of course we are. Who's going to stop the Mojam crew? No one. No one's going to mess with the Mojam. The crew. Us. Not even... Not anyone. Did you say Mojam? I said it. She said it. Let's do this. Or let's do it. Phew, got a bit worked up there. I feel lightheaded. I think I'm just really happy to see you all. That's too, Thrash. It's wonderful. Thrash, let me fill you in on what's happened. I've already got the load down, hip dude. Some grump rules Artia from his palace, queen imprisoned. Bad business all around. I ever heard the guards, so. Let's go smash Hum Grump. Woo! the shop four of them now <laughs> this was really just too much that's it all abilities upgraded How's the training going, Associate Fume? Going great, Associate Seath. I've reported five other associates for footwork violations already. Quite a workout. Wait, they shouldn't be here. Hey, hum grumpies. We'll give you some you'll we'll give you lots to report. Please. Oh, I can just do that. Yeah? Oh. <laughs> 
Oh wow, even the mouse is getting into it. Another win for the troublesome persons. Hey, if we ever form a band, that'd be a cool name. you again. Heavy duty pipe transporting meta magic around, no doubt. The green stuff has the funniest properties. It can pop things right out of this book and even transfer them from page to page. At least that's what Moonbeard told, told me. Something about pressing pages against each other to transfer things. I wasn't paying full attention, to be honest. I was rather peckish and thinking about cheese. It happens. The reliable troops were maintaining humgrum smitted magic pipes. If only I could replace the word reliable with broken. <laughs> that in a minute. Unless I should get it now. I should get it now because the pipe's going to block it. that work? Or is it the other way? Why should it matter? Keep tilting. There we go. The pegs are still going to attach. Hang on, how did that section of the pipe get from over there to plucky business, Violet? Plucky business.
Hmm. Oh, I'm locked in. What? Oh, there. I thought I tried that the first time. this again. Oh, that's one big switch. Seems like it opens this gate here. Maybe we should all stand on it. Well, it was worth a shot. Looks like we'll need something heavier than us for. This is this is going to be a puzzle. What? So weird. done it wrong though. Is there a way to reset this? Yeah. Let me do this. That doesn't reset it.
Ah, oh, damn it. I see. I need to use the other stamp as well. Got it done. We're outshone by a big box. Don't underestimate the effectiveness of an oversized crate. The power of heavy metal, dudes. Oh, I approve of the pun. Thrash, good one. Come on, let's scram. Hold up, another data center ahead. How much paperwork do these guys need? Too much, but if it slows them right down, it is good for speedy pip. The third data center lay ahead of the band of miscreants. Once again, the wretched rodent prepared to scuttle through. However, the guards would now certainly apprehend their prey, having recently undergone extensive training in their core competencies. Holy crap. I, didn't ha I don't know if I had to do that, but I did it. Ah, oh, damn it. I messed up. I was impatient. late at night. <laughs> Brain. Damn it. It's not that. What is it? There we go. Got it. Oh, it's not over yet. Oh, damn it. I didn't step quick enough.
nice. <laughs> Simply infuriating. Ratchet Rodent is the name of the achievement. A stellar job all round stopping the wretched rodent from getting past and granting access to his chums. The troops would surely be commending each other for their flawless performance. From the bottom of the pit into which they would soon be banished. Good sneaking, Pip. Impressed by your rhythm, dude. Why, well, thank you, you're too kind. Hey, I got the feeling we're nearly out of Deep Doom. Let's roll on. We meet again. Care to take a look? Do you have anything? Art scroll. Well, all abilities are upgraded, so... band of botherers emerged and laid their eyes upon their undoing. A very solid, very closed iron door. Hmm. Now this is tricky, some new fangled machinery. The door only opens if it sees a face from Humgrump's army. It's not going to appreciate our pretty faces, not a bit. But this is the only face I've got. What are we going to do? Iron door. That's that's great. Dude, not exactly sure what you did there, but it worked like a charm. Look, over there. That's an elevator. elevator. It's a box on a string that goes up and down. It's our way to the surface. If we can defeat all these grumps, we'll be on our way out of deep doom. Finally! I missed this guy. Come on, let's rumble. I was gonna say, it's not, it's not gonna let me have a high ground advantage. I'm taking whatever little advantage I can get here. Too many of them. Especially these tanky ones. Nice. What is with this invisible wall it seems to be placing in front of me? Oops. Uh oh, please don't reset it. Okay, good. There we go. That it works when you're on the edge. Oh, 
Ah, uh, wait. Oh, there's even more. I bet you can take most of these out doing this. Smarter, not harder. Okay, now we can come down. All the heavies are down. No problem. We made it. Metal. Elevator. Let's go. The fugitives made their traitorous ascent towards the surface. The elevator cable proving annoyingly reluctant to snap. And so they arrived at the surface. And with uncomprehending awe in their traitorous eyes, they gazed upwards to see... the monumentally majestic Palace of Humgrump. Palace, it's hideous. That humgrump. I have never known anyone with a worse sense of aesthetics. Major downgrade. Yeah, I mean, humgrump has very bad taste. Which is funny because Moonbeard has such great style. I still can't believe they're related. What's humgrump's deal with plastering his logo everywhere? It's so... garish. Dude really loves that mark, huh? What's it supposed to be, anyway? I always thought it was an axe head, you know, something sharp and nasty. Really? It's gotta be an H for Humgrump, right? Nope. It's neither of those things. The design. It comes from events in Humgrump's past. Young Humgrump fancied himself as a poet. Oh, butterfly, why do you fly? Nothing but a butterfly. <laughs> flitter, butter, flitter, butter, butter, flitter, butter, flitter, butter, butter, flu. Why would you write this? He sent his poems to all the publishers in Mojo, but he was rejected by each and every one. He vowed never to release another poem into the ungrateful world. His anguish 
would eventually transform into rage that would propel him towards his ultimate destiny. The symbol of his rejection would become the symbol of his vengeance against an unjust world. The symbol of the humble butterfly. Really? And that's the story behind Hum Grump's logo. He must have been a sensitive soul, not able to get over his rejection. Why didn't he just, you know, try and get better at writing poetry? I was a rubbish drummer at first. Everyone's rubbish at first. He was too proud for that. Better to blame the world than try and improve himself. Moonbeard offered his brother help, but Hum Grump saw this as a humiliation. He flew into a rage and said he didn't need any help. He'd go it alone. So that's what he did. Even now, so many years later, the resentment and envy still burns within him. He has torn down the world that rejected him and created a new one of his own. A new tale all about him. Well, it sucks. Definitely. Prefer how it was before. Agreed. So we have to try and change this plot line back. And that means confronting its starring character. Hum Grump. Come on, let's enter the palace. Is this going to be a whole thing? I guess so. Alright. No, hang on, three minutes. How do I make it save? This is the problem with, like, auto-save. Okay, now it's saving. Okay, cool. This will be wrapped up next time. I thought the chapters would go a little quicker, but that last one was very long. So, we'll just leave it here, and hopefully the next chapter is sizable. Otherwise, I'll, I'll figure something out. Uh, but yeah, that was the Plucky Squire for tonight. Um, hope you enjoyed, or if you're checking this out later as a replay, hope you enjoyed as well. If you want to support the VODs channel, just click the like button. It helps a lot. But yeah, thank you for watching.